What's good, y'all? We back at it again, man. Welcome to Chuck's Daily Hustle. If you haven't already, man, make sure you like, subscribe, share. Um, in the comment below, man, hit that notification bell. Oh, uh, wait, before I even hop in here, man, we getting some cars from Odessa that I just got. I got the 96 joint that nobody wanted. If y'all looked, at the, if y'all haven't looked at the video when I was doing a walk around and uh, test driving on the vehicles, um, I drove this car and I knew that people was gonna think that it needed an engine, but this damn flex pipe, which is a part of exhaust, cost like $100 at max to fix. So I got this thing for, uh, shit, $440? No, $540, but it don't need nothing. This just got a little exhaust leak, y'all. So I'm about to pop this off. This is the oldest car I ever bought to sell. But, man, I told y'all before, man, the times are changing and um, gotta do what I gotta do. The only thing with this damn thing, ain't got no AC, y'all. Woo! And somebody left it on. Left it on, man. Yeah, so cut that off. We gonna pull this joint out. Cut this off, too. But yeah, we gonna, so we gonna pull this joint out. I got this Dodge Avenger, I'm gonna show y'all that. Somebody just hit me up for um, the Malibu, man, um, which I'm brokering for uh, my, my mechanic's friend or neighbor. Um, and he said he got all the money. So I'm going to go over there, try to sell that to him. If that doesn't work out, then I'm going to um, end up selling it. Uh, we're having my, my boy sell it for me to a different dude. Um, and then I'm going to have to split it, but then I ain't going to make that much money. So I'm not going to be excited about that, but it'll be what it is. All right, y'all, so oh, here's the Avenger right here, y'all, the blue one. So um, I'm a little bit scared, though, because my brother said he drove it after me, and it was misfiring. When I checked it, it only had an O2 sensor um, code on it. So I'm going to be pissed the fuck off if this damn car needs more work than what I thought, because I paid um, $2,080 for this car. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the damn exhaust. Oh, yep. Yeah. Now that might just be the O2 sensor. Sometimes the O2 sensors can make, um, can like trick the, uh, trick the computer. So I don't know y'all. Oh damn, he's right. Check engine lights flashing, man, it's misfiring. Whatever. I ain't even tripping on it, y'all. Oh, in the day, somebody, man, somebody was messing with this car, y'all. Now the battery light's on. That wasn't on yesterday, y'all. And that's another thing that these dudes do. They'll mess with these cars so that you don't buy them. Now I'm now this is a whole different car. This wasn't the car that I that I um was driving yesterday, y'all. So some something's going up. But whatever, man. I'm gonna go ahead and uh pull it out, get it fixed, and then we'll be straight. I'm not even worried about it, man. So now the damn AC wasn't working either. So the car running rough as hell. Whatever, man. I'm not even gonna trip on it. But I'm really tripping on it. Nah, it's, but nah, man. I'm gonna go sell this damn car, and hopefully this dude buys it, so I can actually make some money. Then it doesn't hurt as bad for the fact that I'm getting ready to probably put some extra money into that car. So um, let's see, man. But I'm gonna meet y'all um, at the Malibu, actually. There go that Malibu, y'all. So try to get this thing sold. Back to some more blue faces for your brother so i'm at the mechanic spot as you can tell and uh yeah man shit it's sunny out man it's beautiful so hopefully they buy this man then i can make some money so that way me having an unexpected loss doesn't get me oh i don't know if y'all seen this folk uh it's not too much room in here but this is the focus wagon i got like last week or something so we put a, a new compressor in there. Um, I had went out to the junkyard to get a $50 one because the new one was $150 and they sold me a bad one. So now I got to drive another 45 minutes out there to return that one. I'm $150 down for the uh, the new compressor. And um, yeah, man, so it's kind of kind of upset about that, but whatever, man. Um, checking out the title right here. I'm, I'm going to show you all the front, but um, get ready to set, get this thing sold, man. I'm, man. I'm big happy about this. Hopefully they buy it, man. The check engine lights on. So hopefully they ain't playing around, man. Get this money. Cause your boy broke. Nah. <laughs> Alright, y'all. We got bad news. 
That thing is still sitting over there, man. All lonely and shit. Pissed off about that. Not really, man. Um, damn, people came over here drunk as hell, man, trying to buy a car. So, just ridiculous, man. These people didn't know anything about cars. Let them drive it. They were just kind of window shopping. Said they had a cash in hand, but then they said they'll come back tomorrow. Which I told them, hey, don't even bother, man. I already got this car sold. So, um, my boy's coming over here to meet his brother-in-law. Um, so he can get it sold. So that's going to be gone in a second. And then hopefully um, my truck gets done because that's getting detailed. I got that out at the um, detail shop right now at the lot. So um, I put on the rims. I'm going to show you guys. I forgot to put that on the um, on uh, the channel the last time that um, when I first got it. So I just got that, the, uh, the Tahoe. Um, I just put the rims on. I'm, I'm talking about my Tahoe, y'all. So my black Tahoe that I have with them bootleg ass um, rims on it. That's a whole other story. But um, that's going to be done. And then the Mazda, he already finished. That's what we we're going to sell. I'm supposed to be selling the Mazda to my detail guy's brother. But he ended up, uh, like, supposedly breaking his uh, newer Lincoln that he had. So he wanted to fix that right away. And that's in the mechanic shop. So he's supposedly waiting on the mechanic shop to tell him the grand total. Then he'll know if he'll be able to buy the car for me. I was selling him the car for $1,500. The car's worth $2,200. So now I'm about to go get that, post that, and I'm about to sell that to somebody else, y'all. So I'm not going to be waiting on nobody. So got a guy right now. He coming to my mechanic spot with my $150 he owed me for his payments. So we just, I'm just vlogging y'all, man. I'm just letting y'all know what's going on, what's current in the world. But outside of that, man, living life, man. Um, I'm excited. I'm not, uh, um, I'm not, my bad, y'all. My parking brake came on by itself for some reason. Um, probably because I'm on the hill. I don't even know how to do this shit. Oh. I be tripping, y'all. There was my boy Tremaine. He just popped up. Yeah, up in a bit. Y'all know if y'all remember that from the uh, from the video, he got the, the white BMW the X5. I told, and if y'all looked at the video, I told him he wasn't gonna sell that damn car. I knew it because he was in, he was uh, in love with the car as soon as he saw the damn car. I just knew it. And what he is right there, this nigga is matching the he's matching the damn car, nigga. He got white on. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> hey man, say what's up to YouTube. <laughs> I was just talking about how your ass, how your ass, when you, we got the BMW, yeah. that that your ass. I told you you wasn't gonna sell it. Oh, shit, that's what, that's what I'm yeah, all right. right. Yeah, all right. He want like five G's for that joint, probably. Oh, shit, yeah. like six, six, so how much you want for that one? If you gonna sell it, wow. he said he take it for what? Five. Five. He a lie and a half. I said the niggas, I said you matching the damn, the damn, uh, the Beamer. <laughs> His favorite car. <laughs> Yo, Chris is a little more than line, man. You know what I mean? But yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a quick update, man. But I'm gonna uh -huh. chop it up with y'all in a second. See what happens. I am in the Mazda, y'all. It's finally done. The, uh, my Tahoe is not, but I'm about to get ready to take pictures of this joint and post it. So, show you guys this. It's got a little bit of hail damage here and there. A little paint discoloration. Um, if you guys looked at the video from uh, one of my Odessa videos, then I um, basically explained why I was getting the car. I actually ended up getting this thing for like mm, $700 or something after fees and everything. Oh shit, look, my damn tires is fucking flat. I was wondering why I was hearing noise. Damn. So now I gotta go put some air in there. Man, let me go back in. This shit, it's always something, man. So I'm gonna go put some air in the tire. In both of those tires. I don't know why my detail guy didn't see that. Fuck. It's 
never ending y'all it's always something but this is the easy fix as long as that damn tire don't come off the rim man now i'm pissed my luck this month was gonna come off the rim got her back where she need to be put them air put that air in the tires so obviously that sound went away got lucky tire didn't come off the rim so we're golden so now i'm calling it a day y'all got the detail dude paid off got the uh car posted so hopefully we can make some money man and on to the next one so as y'all can see these are the cars that's ready i got the pt cruiser the uh freestar and the forerunner i was going to keep the forerunner before but i changed my mind um so yeah man this is what i got going on i'm tired as hell i'm gonna go home appreciate y'all for tuning in with me let's see we started off today y'all at like 7 it's 7 47 so we officially almost 13 hours in and i still gotta drive 45 minutes so um yeah <laughs> i'm out man make sure you like subscribe share um and i'll probably see y'all tomorrow